Welcome back to Heavy Rain. When we last left off, Madison was told to leave by Ethan, who believes that he is the origami killer and he's schizophrenic and his other self is testing him. That's what we learned. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen. I don't believe so. Next test. Come on, next test. This seems way too well put together for someone like Ethan to do. This whole scheme that the origami killer has running. Are you prepared to kill this someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6847 Longdon Road, Lexington. Kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Okay, so it can possibly get worse. Let's see how this goes. So that's what the gun was for. I had wondered. I figured it was for killing someone. Oh, Norman. Ah, oh, I pressed it wrong. Yeah. Playing piano like a pro. Oh. Oh, piano player, right here. Perfect. No. Aw, oh, messed up. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Get it, Norman. He looks You're full of welcome, anguish. Sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? What is it going wrong with Blake the Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. It just doesn't make sense. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I not Mars. I have the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Good go good idea, Jeeves. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. Things happen. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Yeah, especially when I'm controlling him and my life, his, his life is in my hands. That'd be pretty bad if I let him die. Oh boy, what are we going to learn here? clues well well looks like there's something new I hate video how he says that. From near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared I doubt there's anything on it but you never know let's do it investigate <coughs> 1583 vehicles identified that's not gonna help me find the killer's car Maybe if I cross-check it against another clue. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Is that just the, the tire tracks from before? The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet I learned Malibu that before, 83. though. 
I think. The Orchid. Geoanalysis? Can I get anything from that? No, nothing. Let's clear all and come back to this, maybe. Files. The victims and the modus operandi. That doesn't change, I don't think. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Yeah, we're retreading old ground here. Get rid of it. Back to clues. Let's look at... Let's analyze it real quick. Did I just cross reference Chevrolet clues? Model corresponding <gasps> to the time I'm a genius. Passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? By God, I'm on the case. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Geoanalyze. Damn it. You have any thoughts, Norman? Lucky bastard. Another few seconds and I'd have seen his face on the video. You have any other thoughts? Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. Look at your clues. That won't help. Ah! I know how he feels. With his frustration at this case. How do you make any headway with this? This is just looking at stuff I've already looked at. Investigation. A clue. Oh, Innocent. one of them said bar. Oh, I'm sure it's staring me in the face. Bar. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. Oh. Um. Ah, uh, my brain hurts. This is like portal. Ah. Uh, trudge through it. Trudge through it. I already did that. Owner Philip D. Campbell. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Oh, a new clue. New clue. Jackson Neville. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Let's go for it. Alright, we got some evidence to go for. We got a raging clue going on here. Oh crap, it's happening again. Oh, one last. Thing. Holy shit. You should be careful not to overindulge in your no one. He's overindulging. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. No, don't take the drugs. Shit. It's it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is going to kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay Resist, in Norman. Resist. Do something until it goes away. Come on, let's go wash faces. Wait. Let's take the bottle. What can the bottle do? Anything? Let's take a swig. Swig of booze. That'll help. Put it down. Go wash your face, Norman. Just like before. Oh my god. You'll not tempt me. Come on, Norman, snap out of it. I 
I got it. I didn't even realize until like the last second there. Come on, how much more do I need to get him to do to snap out of it? Let's try to get a shower. Oh, dunk your head in the toilet. That'll help. Uh, come on, Norman. I could just lay down. Breathe. 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 Don't you die on me, Norman. He's tripping. He's tripping hard. What you shouldn't do is go on the balcony. That would be bad, given how little balance you have right now. The tube is there. So close. All I have to do is take it, and everything will be fine. Urgh. Resisting. Resisting! Oh my god. Well, I have to end the part here. When we come back next time, we'll go back to Norman resisting. Hope you enjoyed. See you then. Thanks for watching.